So the sheet metal functionality in Fusion 360 can, use, uh, can be used for all sorts of interesting things that actually don't have anything to do with sheet metal, but basically as a modeling tool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a uh, little wristband for watch just to demonstrate how this would work. So I'm going to start with a circle. Uh, sorry, not with a circle, with a sketch. And I'm going to simply sketch a spline. And that spline is going to sort of symbolize or represent our wrist band when seen from the side. So that should be good enough. And I can manipulate those handles to give me a little bit more of a fluid shape here. That should be okay. And what we do need for the sheet metal tool to work, that I'm going to demonstrate in a little while, is we need a flat section on here. And that flat section should be tangential to the spline and here and there it is. And that symbol shows us that. So great. So now I have my sketch. I'm going to change into the sheet metal workspace. I'm going to pick a flange and this is going to be our flange. So I'm simply going to draw this out and let's say we make this about that thick or that uh, that um, that wide. And then I'm going to apply an unfold. I'm going to pick this at my flat as my flat section. Uh, the bend is basically following the spline profile and now that bend is actually straight. Oops. So, and with that I have basically created my canvas that I will be drawing my uh, wristband on. So again I'm going to create another sketch and for this demonstration that doesn't have to be particularly precise. I'm going to just put a circle here somewhere. And that's going to be my watch face. And I'm going to uh, use a center rectangle for a basic watch shape. And then I'm going to uh, simply draw out something that could roughly represent one part of the wristband. What I'm going to do in this case, I'm going to apply a horizontal vertical constraint. So this is always centered. So if I move this here, it's always in line. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And of course, this is obviously not a super fancy watch band. Uh, it doesn't have to be for the purpose of this demonstration. And I'm going to apply that same horizontal vertical constraint here as well. So I'm going to pull this out a little bit. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to extrude this out. And it complains, yes. Let it complain. We just change it to um, join. And it needs to be joined to this base plate uh, that I earlier called the canvas that I'm drawing on. So uh, we have our two wristband halves and I'm going to create another sketch on top of that. And I'm just simply going to apply some form of pattern on top of that wristband. Again, doesn't have to be anything fancy. But it should actually also not look like this. Well, that didn't work the way I wanted it to. So let's do that from scratch. And see if I just can simply 
offset this line. That should do it. And close it here on the end. To give us a profile. Let me do the same on the other side. Or maybe we use a different pattern. So now I'm just going to simply extrude these shapes. And it does the same thing, it complains again, so we're going to join that for our base geometry. Okay, so now we have our wristband, and it's still attached to our uh, you know, base sheet metal. And I'm going to refold these faces. And there we have our wristband neatly wrapped around that spline. And uh, what I'm doing now is you have to do this carefully because obviously I didn't constrain anything in my, in my uh, design here. And you know, it might go haywire when I change the spline here just a tad too much. But you can already see that spline changes the shape of my wristband and the wristband goes neatly with it. So of course we still have that ugly sheet metal thing in there and we don't want it. Um, I've tried this earlier with a split body, it uh, rejected it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another sketch here just on the top face. I'm going to um, project the outline in here and connect it to provide me with a profile, stop the sketch and then I'm just going to simply extrude cut this away and here's my wristband. I still have my original sketch up here and if I change its shape, well as I said earlier I didn't constrain anything so this isn't a surprise but if I'm gentle enough in my changes here, then the wristband follows along quite neatly. So hopefully that uh, provides you with a few ideas what you can actually do with the sheet metal module here in Fusion 360.